the X-44 Manta, or multi-axis no-tail aircraft, a futuristic-looking variant of Lockheed Martin's classic F-22 design. Lockheed Martin may have built up six distinct airframes identical to the F-22 Raptor that were given to the Air Force, according to Air Force Magazine. Though none were chosen, this particular design is claimed to have piqued NASA's interest as a research platform for testing tailless aircraft employing thrust vectoring. Meet the X-44 Manta the goal of the X-44 Manta project, which began in 1999, was to investigate the possibility of complete yaw, pitch, and roll authority without tailplanes, horizontal or vertical, with altitude control based only on 3D thrust vectoring. Thrust vectoring is the capacity to move the jet exhaust and which permits an aircraft to produce forces with its engines similar to the forces provided by aerodynamic surfaces such as flaps, rudders, and stabilizers. In non-scientific words, thrust vectoring would provide the type of mobility that would overwhelm adversary fighter planes, allowing the pilot to vary the angle of thrust to manage altitude more effectively, allowing the airplane to change directions more aggressively. Another benefit of not having a tail section would have been low observability flying, maybe even stealthier than the Raptor. The X-44 aircraft's design was based on the F-22 Raptor with a stretched delta wing and no tail surfaces. The plane would have been 62 feet long with two Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines producing 35,000 pounds or 15,875 kilograms of power each. It was projected that the plane could reach speeds of up to 1,500 miles per hour or 2,414 kph with a ceiling of 49,000 feet or 14,935 meters. The X-44 Manta was never developed beyond a design idea, although its brief existence impacted later stealth concepts that may have been used by the United States NGAD or Next Generation Air Dominance 6th Generation Fighter. The X-44 has been around since 1999. The X-44 was designed by Lockheed Martin, and it was subsequently developed in collaboration with NASA. Internal weapons bays would carry a wide range of weapons. The design would result in less drag and more efficiency, as well as improved stealth capabilities, including internal weapon bays. With a diversified load of Sidewinders, AMRAMs, that is, advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles, precision guide bombs, and a 20mm internal cannon, the potential for a complete payload of weaponry was tremendous. The overall layout would have allowed the X-44 to carry more fuel, allowing it to travel further. If the X-44 Manta could have performed similarly to the F-22 while being even more difficult to detect, it could have been enough to move this aircraft design from Lockheed's notebook pages and into production. But it wasn't simply stealth that the X-44 excelled at. It also carried a lot more hatred. Could the X-44 inspire the NGAT? If the X-44 was more stealthy than the F-22, it goes to reason that it was the driving force for the NGAD program. The NGAD will most likely feature the X-44's web-shaped tailless form. A no-tail aircraft which the NGAD is likely to pursue has a smaller radar signature. According to reports, the Air Force has created a prototype of the NGAD and flown it in a test flight. The Navy has its own NGAD program, the FAXX, a sixth generation fighter to replace the FA 18EF Super Hornet. The newest Pentagon budget request includes funding for this research. NGAD is so likely to be an offshoot of the X 44. The X-44 was created more than two decades ago, and it remains to be seen whether the Air Force and Navy versions of the NGAD both mirror the X-44. As a result, this is an example of back-to-the-future design for a sixth-generation airplane. By design, it would have been exceedingly stealthy, like the F-22 on which it was based, and maybe even stealthier than its F-22 father. According to renderings of the X-44 idea, it would have retained the F-22's air intake inlets, which are meant to disperse enemy radar inside of them rather than reflecting radar outwards. The X-44, like the famed B-2 stealth bomber, has a tailless design. These tailless designs are naturally stealthier than tailed airframes, with the X-44 having an extremely low radar signature. 
Instead of employing normal control surfaces to navigate in flight, the Manta used thrust vectoring, which allowed the twin engine's exhaust nodules to direct exhaust in different directions. So, logically, Lockheed Martin collaborated with NASA to discuss how to bring this vision into existence. Making an aerobatic aircraft that could avoid utilizing its tail for handling would need a heavy reliance on thrust vector controls to adjust the fighter's fly path. NASA has already had a lot of success with thrust vector controls on a high-performance fighter in the F-15 Active, which was a modified F-15 Eagle that used front-wing canards taken from the tail section of an F-A-18 Hornet and thrust vectoring jet nozzles to produce a fighter that could outperform the legendary Eagle in almost every way. To put it simply, thrust vector control allows you to aim or position the jet's engine nozzle. In certain systems, such as the F-22 Raptor, nozzle aiming is done on a single plane up or down. However, in others, such as Russia's fourth-generation Su-35, the nozzle can move in 360 degrees, providing even more dramatic choices for swiftly changing directions. In a head-on collision, the F-22 Raptor's thrust vectoring allows the pilot to point the fighter's nose and weapons down at an opposing jet as it passes by, all while continuing to push in the same direction. That same thrust vectoring capabilities allows aircraft like the F-22 and Su-35 to change directions significantly more aggressively than any sophisticated jet without thrust vector controls can in a close-up combat between two fighters striving to successfully turn tighter than the other to gain weapons lock. An F-22 Raptor without the tail The X-44 Manta wasn't the only F-22-based idea floating about at the time. As the world's first operational stealth fighter, the first fighter to celebrate the new fifth generation of jets and arguably the most potent air superiority aircraft ever to fly in service for any nation, it's understandable that the U.S. would consider leveraging the F-22 program for other more specialized roles. While the X-44 idea attempted to make the F-22 even more stealthy, the Sea Raptor initiative would have developed F-22s on America's fleet of supercarriers, delivering a jet that could fly faster, further, and carry more ordnance than the F-35Cs presently planned for Uncle Sam's flat tops. The F-22 Raptor had already distinguished itself from the rest of the fighter world by incorporating stealth into the plane's design. While previous and extremely powerful air superiority fighters such as the F-15 depended on sheer performance to win skirmishes in the air and only later integrated elements like radar absorbent coating to prevent detection, the F-22 was designed from the start to postpone or defeat detection totally. From there, the stealthy fighter's two powerful Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines could still propel it to speeds of up to Mach 2.25, and its thrust vector controls allowed it to pirouette away from any incoming missiles that had managed to gain a difficult-to-come-by lock. The F-22 is the most capable air superiority fighter on the globe today, and its edge over the competition was much more obvious in 1999. That's it for now. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell button to be alerted of any future updates. See you in the next one!